Good evening, everybody. It's Granny J. Clay here, and it's 8 o'clock in Kansas in the USA. And I just wanted to give you just a quick um, update on what I did with the little green um, bead that I made today in my video when I showed you how to made, make my orange um, necklace. I decided once I made that green be bead, I should go ahead and finish. So I'm going to show you this. This is it. This, this again is made with um, a spool and two smaller spools. And then these are just wooden beads right here. And, and I made these long clay beads. And um, I was kind of going for a different look with, the, with those. They are made, uh, there's wood inside of those as well. I just happen to have um, these. And I'm going to use these for another project. Uh, but they're very short. Let's see. There we go. And I thought, hmm, I could drill a hole um, through here and through here on the bottom and then cover it with some clay and maybe use it with my green necklace. So I did that. Um, I thought it would show more indentations because this has, obviously, some indentations on it. But, um, you know, when you put a little clay on it, it looks a little different. But I think it turned out really nicely and I'm very happy with it and I just thought I'd share it with you. So um, I was going to show you the back of it as well. I'll just pull it around. It's I just made this with a, um, a little hummingbird closure thing that you can use. Can you see the little hummingbird? Anyway, that's just a quick update. Just wanted to share that with everybody out there and, and hope uh, that the video today has encouraged you to go out and get some uh, spools and to put a little clay on them. All right, that's all. That's all I have. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.